All right, everybody, so it's June 7, 2011, and today we are going to show you ISO 5 on iPad 2. And a lot of people are getting mad because Apple just a few minutes ago has sent out hundreds of cease and desist letters for, uh, you know, different websites that are letting people download the firmware um, because it's supposed to be only for developers, but what a lot of people have done and, uh, are doing are basically paying people five six dollars to have their developer kit registered under their name so I would pay a developer five dollars to use my uh, ID this ID the CD ID um, under their account so when I update with Apple iTunes to the iOS 5 it will allow me to actually move to that um, so right now we're just gonna go ahead and take you through the steps now I will tell people there is a way around it um, if you can still pay a developer if there's a de developer available um, I use the PC and you actually want to use an older version of iTunes the version of iTunes that I used um, it says it won't be compatible but it will be the version of iTunes I used was 10.2.2.14 I think that's correct. Yeah, 10.2.2.14. Um, use that. Now, after it's done updating, iTunes won't recognize it because iTunes will say, iTunes needs to be updated in order to figure out what this thing is. Um, at that point, you can then update iTunes if you want, but by that time, you'll be exactly where I am. So there are ways to do it still. Um, if you guys have any questions, email me. So we're going to go ahead and go through the startup together. This is the first time. So the screen screen's going to look the exact same here. Uh, you're going to slide to unlock and it's basically going to ask you this time uh, to select a language. You select English. You hit the next arrow up here at the top. Uh, country and region that I'm in and there's quite a few so we're going to scroll all the way down here to the bottom and we're going to hit United States. Then we're going to go ahead and hit next. And sorry that it's not all the way close up in focus. Maybe we can make it a little bit better. Um, that's about it. Um, we're going to connect to our D-Link. That's the router I'm using. I have no password for this tutorial. And hopefully we'll switch it to portrait view soon. So it connected to D-Link. Hit next. Now it says it may take up to a minute to set it up. Um, and now it also gives me, it basically gives me a picture. Choose to set up as a new iPad or restore from a previous backup. And uh, now it gives you some options here. It says set up as a new iPad, restore from iCloud backup, or restore from iTunes. And there we go. So we're just going to set this one up as new because first off, no one has iCloud. It's not uh, it's not out yet to my knowing um, unless it is out for the beta people like myself. Uh, and restore from iTunes. Now, the only reason I'm not restoring from iTunes is I think it's really risky at this point with Apple sending out a lot of cease and desist. And it took me like a half an hour to figure out like how to actually get the IPSW to go through to Apple because I took all the city off, I reinstalled iTunes, I deleted all the library folders and it still, you know, it gave me issues. Um, so I'm just going to set this up as new and if I need to add stuff later, no big deal. So we'll set it up as a new and then what we basically are doing, again, and we'll just stay with this view, um, we're basically just going to hit next up here in the top right corner. So set it up as new. Now you guys see this new little screen that's rolling across here. Now this is where something might get uh, screwed up. So it says your Apple ID automatically sets up iCloud, the App Store, iTunes Store, and more on your iPad. And now it's just got these scrolling icons that are just going by. You can't touch them or anything. It's just a movie that's going by. Now you have two options. You have sign in with an Apple ID or create a free Apple ID. So we already have one. So we'll go ahead and sign in with it. now. So we will get in here. 
It says store contacts, calendars, photos, music, books, apps, and more in the cloud and access them from all your devices. And then it shows an iPhone, an iPad, and uh, I'm guessing an Apple computer. Now it does have an icon right here at the bottom and it just basically says iCloud. It looks like it's going to be a purple icon. And you can basically turn this on or off and we'll just keep it on because I guess we want to try out the iCloud as well. We're going to go ahead and hit next in the top corner here. Now it says shows this little icon here it says if you misplace your iPad find my iPad can help you find it on a map play sound or display a message let's just go ahead and keep that on because it might be free help Apple improve products services automatically by seeking anonymous diagnostics and uses data I'm not gonna send that because this is a non paid version uh, start using the iPad it says your iPad is now set up you are ready to start using the most advanced iOS ever we'll go ahead and say start using iPad we'll go ahead and flip it here in landscape mode